Today in this video I'm going to show you how to fix boot MGR images corrupt the system. Cannot boot in Windows. When a PC is powered on, the BIOS selects the bootable hard drive, then in that particular hard drive it looks for the MBR code. This MBR code takes necessary steps to load boot. MGR. To fix this problem first turn off the computer. After turning off the computer then open the CPU power cord. And then take the screwdriver and unscrew the CPU cabinet and open the CPU case. Sometimes the culprit of this issue may actually be the RAM. The RAM present on your computer may be defective causing this error. Then open the RAM on your computer. The way I open the RAM, you open it step by step. Your computer that has two RAMs or one RAM installed open it. After opening the RAM then you first take an eraser. Now clean the RAM stick well with an eraser the way I am cleaning the RAM stick, you can. Follow the same way with an eraser and clean the RAM. If your computer has two RAMs installed, then you should clean both RAMs well. If you have more than one RAM installed, one of them may have gone bad. Hence, remove the RAM and clean the connection point with a soft cloth or brush. After cleaning the RAM with an eraser then take a brush or a clean soft cloth. Then gently clean the connection point of the RAM with that soft cloth or brush. The way I'm cleaning you also clean in this way. After clearing the connection point of the RAM, I will reinstall the RAM as it was. After cleaning the RAM, insert the slots that were attached to the RAM follow me on how I am installing RAM. If you try to install one RAM first, then install the second RAM and be sure to check the RAM by changing the slot, in my case, I have two good RAMs. I have checked. You should also check so I'm putting two RAMs. After installing RAM, connect the power cable and turn on the computer. Before turning on the computer, unplug the hard disk power cable and SATA cable and clean it thoroughly with a soft cloth, after cleaning then connect the SATA cable and hard disk power cable then turn on the computer. After the computer is turned on, the computer will be turned on without any problem. If the computer is still the same problem, be sure to visit a computer expert or a nearby computer repair shop. I hope this video helped you. Please share it with your friends also. If you have any doubts related to this, let us know in the comment box below. If you liked the video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel.